This is crazy. This is driving on self-driving software, and it's just waiting for the last chicken to cross here. It's patiently waiting. The chicken crosses the road, and then the car proceeds on its own. This is all just driving on its own. Yeah, I think it's going to say, look, it's going around him. It's going around him. Oh, look, it's changing its mind. It's backing up to go around them. Look at that. It backed up to go around the geese. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Some examples of like what that kind of like corner case data might look like. And then this is very, very useful data to train on. And this is not normally accessible. You can't stage this that easily because it, it requires the stationary scene, the speed of all the vehicles. And test has a unique advantage here that it can tap into the entire fleet to get this data. We find that the approach that we took uh, is quite scalable. It scales across different vehicle platforms, different uh, spatial locations, different weather conditions, and overall offers a very safe, comfortable, and fast ride to the users. It's not just scaling self-driving uh, to all the vehicles, but also scaling it to other forms of robots, the humanoid robots too. And the same technology that we developed here for self-driving transfers most seamlessly to other forms of robots too. Tesla is all in on uh, robotics. The entire company is just focused on producing intelligent, useful, uh, large-scale uh, robots for helping everyone in the world.